Now it's come to my attention that in some of my videos when there's mention of this, the English Electric Lightning, there are people who are making suggestions that it's not beautiful. There are suggestions that perhaps this is quite an ugly thing and gets away without being given criticism for that. So here it is. Apologise. Right now. Say sorry. I get it's it's very much it's function over form. The whole thing was designed to do one job incredibly well. Um, everything from the, the engines being offset on one on top of the other so that you could squeeze it into a smaller cross section and give it a better drag profile down to the fact the shot cone on the front was designed so that it would be something that would use to get past the sound barrier and into the speed that you needed to. Everything about it was designed for it to do one job. They never tried to turn this into a ground attack aircraft, not in the RAF. Um, I believe that was, like Saudi Air Force might have. I think there's someone out there that was dumb enough to try it, but this was meant to do one job, which was find a Russian bomber before it could get too far over the border and knock it out of the sky, and that's it. And in that respect, it's beautiful design. Pig awful to work on. Engines leaked like crazy, and there was a good chance you could set it on fire at the drop of a hat. But in general, as a design concept and as something that was designed to do one job and do it really well, this was an incredible aircraft. So if you think this is ugly, you can fight me but only if it's in biplanes, because that's how real men duel. But I will say this, when they modified it and they did the whole belly pack thing and they gave it different types, it does kind of make it look like it's a pregnant fighter plane. So I'll take that criticism.